Today I'm going to be looking at the DeFi protocol Bancor, which is a really cool protocol if you want to be providing liquidity on automated market maker. The reason I'm looking at Bancor is because I think it has four very good advantages over its um, competitors at the moment, and the competitors would be PancakeSwap or Uniswap. And those advantages are the following. So uh, one very big problem that a lot of people might have when they try to provide liquidity on something like Uniswap or PancakeSwap is that you are very likely to get completely wrecked by something called impermanent loss. And if you don't know what impermanent loss is, it's very important to understand it. So I've linked some articles down below. Let's go and like read up on those. But impermanent loss is basically when you provide assets into a liquidity pool to earn fees from trades that take place in that liquidity pool. But then when you come to take your assets back out of the pool, you actually withdraw less than what you put in because of impermanent loss. So a lot of people that end up providing liquidity end up losing money or not making as much as if they'd just held the tokens instead of just instead of putting them into a liquidity pool. The second really good benefit from Bancor is that you can provide liquidity one-sided, which means you don't need to provide two tokens like you would do on Uniswap. For example, you don't need to provide ETH and USDT. You can just provide ETH or you can just provide USDT. Or on Bancor, it would be an ETH BNT pool, which is the Bancor token, because every single pool is a token against BNT. And this, this is just a really like uh, nice feature which just allows you to not have to ha go through the hassle of having a 50-50 split of two different tokens. The third great thing about Banker at the moment is that they have a rewards program for anyone who is providing liquidity where they pay you quite high APRs uh, just to provide liquidity on the platform. And those rewards are always paid in BNT but uh, they're, they're pretty high reward, so it's, it's quite a nice program. So in this video, I was just going to go through the interface of Bancor and what everything means because I found it quite confusing when I first started looking at Bancor. Uh, I'm not going to talk about price because uh, I don't care about the price. Um, at the moment, everything's been completely nuked anyway. So yeah, for a price prediction, you have to go somewhere else, but um, yeah, I just want to talk about the platform and I wanted to just bring up the benefits of using something like Bancor to earn interest on your assets without having to worry about impermanent loss. So let's take a look at the platform. So we're on the uh, main page for Bancor and we can see here that there's uh, a trading section and an earning section, which is the one I'm going to be more interested in. It's the place where you deposit your assets to earn interest on them, to earn yield from people using your tokens to trade and you earn a part of the fees. Uh, and then other things on the page, like it shows the total value locked into the platform, uh, the volume in the last 24 hours and uh, the total amount of bank or stake, which is really high and that's, uh, it's good for the token. It means the circulating supply is quite low and uh, a lot of the token is locked up in the, in the, in, in the Bancor app. And then another quite interesting thing about Bancor is Bancor is the first decentralized trading protocol. So it was before Uniswap, um, which not many people know. So that's pretty cool. Um, so if we just enter the app, here you can see all of the different pools that are available to provide liquidity in. So this data tab is the liquidity, it's like, it's like the tab where you can provide liquidity and you would do that by picking a pool and then like clicking liquidity and then you pick the side of the liquidity you want to provide on. So you can see you can provide ETH or BNT and then down here will tell you how much you can provide because there's a, there's a limit. Then other things on this page that are important are this little symbol here. This means that the pool has been whitelisted. And what that means is that after 100 days of providing liquidity for one of these pools with this symbol, your liquidity would be 100% guaranteed against impermanent loss. So um, you, you wouldn't suffer any impermanent loss if you decided to withdraw the assets that you put in. Uh, then this tells you what the pool is, obviously. Um, 
this is the total this is the total liquidity in the pool and then here this is this is one that's uh, quite confusing these rewards they are always paid out in BNT and you get a 58% APR for depositing BNT into the pool and only a 4% if you deposit ETH so depositing BNT will get you a much higher yield from rewards um, then this is the fee that is charged for people who trade and where their trade goes is wide through this pool um, I mean these are self-explanatory and the API is how much you are expected to earn a year but this changes depending on how much volume and fees are being um, earned depending on market conditions really so okay so let's say you wanted to deposit some wrapped Bitcoin which is what I have done previously so you'd, you'd go here and you'd deposit like an amount of Bitcoin that you want to put into the protocol and then you'd stake and you'd go through the normal like uh, procedures of like validating all the transactions and stuff and then you'd be able to find your position um, on this portfolio page where it shows you how much you initially put in how much you will how much your position will be worth when it's protected so mine is not yet protected and it gives you a countdown of how long until your position is protect, protected uh, and then other things are what what is claimable so if you were to withdraw now this is how much you could withdraw uh, this is how much I've earned from fees and rewards here this tab here and uh, so the top one is fees and the bottom number is rewards so your rewards start at one the multiplier your multiplier increases by 0.25 each week until reaching two at which point you are getting twice the rewards you were on week one the number on the left already takes this into account so you can see i'm very new to this pool so i've only earned i'm only earning times one rewards so the roi is the return on investment so it will tell you like a percentage of how it's really annoying actually but it will tell you the percentage uh gain that you've made on what you initially put into the pool this last one here is the uh, percentage increase that Bancor predicts you will get based on a daily average or a weekly average. So here, it's over the last week, if things were to carry on the way they were, I'd be predicted uh, not even 1%, and if it was daily, it'd be 1.39. But I expect this will pick up once the trading volume starts uh, increasing again, which hopefully will happen when people regain confidence in the market. Uh, one thing that I haven't said is that Protection actually starts at 30 days and each day that you're in the liquidity pool you get an additional percent of protection from in, uh, impermanent loss. So you could actually do it for 50 days and have a 50 day protection. That's possible. But you get 100% protection after the 100 days. So that's uh, important to note. Uh, next I'm going to just show you some a, a cool feature that Bancor has. Um, on their swap, on their swapping part of the website. So you can actually place limit orders and market orders. So a market order will just happen straight away. A limit order, you can actually place an order to be uh, executed at a certain price. I haven't actually tried it yet, but it's quite, it's quite cool. And then the last thing is whenever you provide BNT as liquidity to any of these pools with the, the blue shield, you will automatically earn the VBNT token, which is a governance token, which you can stake and it allows you to contribute to the community's decisions. So you can open up this governance uh, tab here. This governance tab here, when you go to it, it will take you to like a, a forum almost where the community gets to make propositions and vote on them to see what will happen in the future, which is cool you can like uh, take part in the future of the protocol. So that's everything that I wanted to show you about Bancor. I think that um, it's a root. I think that it's a very promising protocol and with its reward system, I hope it, that it succeeds in drawing more and more liquidity onto the platform because that will make the liquidity uh, deeper and more trades will be routed through Bancor, which will increase the overall fees for the people providing liquidity in the long run that's that's the plan i think anyway so so if you found this video valuable then please consider liking and subscribing and maybe sharing with uh, someone who is in crypto uh, show them show them what bancor can do 
and uh, I'll see you in another video.